Hi, my name is Romero Regoza and I'm a patient service technician and today I would like to introduce you to the Imicare Home Fill System. I'd like to start by pointing out some of the most important components of your home fill system. So let's start with the concentrator. The concentrator has an on off switch right here which I'm going to go ahead and turn on. You're going to hear a short beep and typically a light comes on but right now there it goes the O2 light comes on a few seconds after you turn on the unit that is telling you that the concentrator is producing at its range it's producing the oxygen above 90 percent it's got three lights on here that is going to tell you if there's an issue with the machine or if it's working properly Right now, the green light is saying that the concentrator is working properly. The top light right here is actually a visible alarm. You should hear an alarm also with it. Uh, this is letting you know that there is a problem with the concentrator. This middle light right here means that there's a major error or a concern with the concentrator and you would want to call Supercare Health and ask for assistance quite possibly maybe you even have to exchange it out. So these are the three lights here on the machine. This right here is a circuit breaker. So if you get a surge of uh, electricity to the unit, the unit will turn off, it will alarm, and the circuit breaker will pop out. What you would want to do in a case like that is turn the machine off, press in the button, and then turn the machine back on. Right over here you got your liter, liter flow tube and it's got from zero to five. You cannot go any higher than five. Uh, to adjust that you got this black knob. You can turn counterclockwise, it will increase your liter flow. If you turn clockwise, it will decrease your liter flow. This little gold port right here is what you're going to attach your tubing or your cannula to. You got your hour meter here, and this little section right here in the front is if you have a humidifier bottle and you want to attach that. So let's talk about the compressor here. The compressor here has an on off switch. Right now it's off because we do not have an, a tank attached to it. We have three lights up at the top. One says attention. If that light goes on, you want to give Supercare Health a call. That means there's an issue with the compressor. O2 below normal, that means it has not reached 90%. Once it reaches 90%, that light should go off. And if you have a tank connected to this port right here, it should begin filling. A green light should come on as, as it's filling. Once the tank is full, that light that says full will go on and that means you've completed filling the tank. So these are the three proprietary tanks that go with the home fill system. This tank right here, obviously the smaller but lighter tank, is called a post six tank. One of our, the larger tanks that they have is a post D tank and this one here is a post nine. Each cylinder look roughly the same. They got a toggle top on here to open and close the valve and they got this port off on the side that connects to the compressor. So let's talk about fill times for these tanks. It takes from one and a half hours to fill up to four hours to fill the larger D tank here. Let's talk about filling on the compressor. What you're going to want to do is the first thing is make sure your tank is closed. So you got this toggle valve up at the top and you can turn clockwise or counterclockwise. You want to close it by turning clockwise. Once it's nice and tight there, you want to go ahead and remove the black cap off the and then you have the gray cap on top of the compressor. So what you're going to want to do is you want to line up this port with the port on the compressor and you want to just line that up just like that and snap it down. You should be able to hear that snap. 
to once again line that straight up and snap on. And now you're ready to begin filling. Okay, so the compressor is off right now. You have your tank attached to the unit. You want to make sure that your tank is closed. So you turn your toggle valve clockwise and make sure that it's closed. So you can go counterclockwise to open, clockwise to close. It needs to be closed when you are filling. So right now the tank is closed. Now we can go ahead and turn on the unit. You go back over to your on off switch here and you go ahead and turn it on. Just like the concentrator, you're going to hear the beep letting you know that there's an audible alarm and it goes right to O2 below normal. So it's going to take a little bit of time for this light to go off and before it begins filling the tank. So now you can see that the filling light has come on, the green light, and it's going to go ahead and fill. You will also hear air going into the tank. That is normal. No reason to be concerned. That is normal for the tank to sound like that. It should stay on filling for about a couple and a, two and a half hours for this particular tank. And then once it's done filling, you will see the light turn on for full and that means the filling has been completed. Once that light goes on, you can go ahead and turn off your machine and you can remove the tank. Now that your tank is full, you want to go ahead and turn off your compressor. You want to pull down on your coupler here. It'll release the tank. You can go ahead and lift the tank up and you are now ready to use. Now that you have a full portable tank, attach your conserving device and your cannula and enjoy your freedom and mobility. If you have any questions about this home fill device or about your respiratory care, contact Supercare Health team or visit us at www.supercarehealth.com. Thank you.